It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow Hello, my name is Cindy and welcome to the special Christmas edition of Beaver on the Loose, bringing you the roundup of campus events from this Michaelmas term. Regular viewers may be wondering why we've been off air this term, but I'd like to assure you that the Loose TV team have been working as hard as ever. But to make up for this, we're going to bring you campus news from the whole of the last 10 weeks. Week one and scandal at the Freshers' Fair as the Atheist and Humanist Society wear t-shirts depicting Jesus and Mo cartoons. To avoid further offense, the SU announces that next year's Freshers' Fair will be sponsored by the Nature Society of Great Britain. Week two and blurred lines is banned from campus after a UGM motion. To avoid widespread offense, the SU decides that the ban should extend to all lines on campus. Chaos ensues as the Hare Krishna man is attacked by a hungry and disorganized mob. SU branding costs are brought into question by the Beaver. You may be wondering how much it could cost for a graphic designer to draw two differently colored triangles, but then again, one of them is an isosceles. UCU organizes a strike for teachers at the university. While commentators argue both for and against the strike in the Beaver, most students simply refer to it as a day off. Michaelmas term election saw a fifth sabbatical officer added to the students' union. Jason Wong once again uses images of half-naked French maids on his campaign posters, returning him firmly to the red zone on Loose Tuesday's Wongometer. An influx of formative essays meant that absolutely nothing interesting happened for five days. This did not, however, stop the Beaver from being published, as Jay still is labeled an authoritarian leftist. LSCSU announces their priority campaign, One LSC, which features four completely separate policy goals. The London Stock Exchange protests the campaign's misleading title. Following from the announcement of the priority campaign, Jay Stoll is labeled a Reagan-era Republican by the Beaver. The design for the Global Center of Social Sciences is revealed to contain a giant red box topped with the letters LSC, which will be visible from the London skyline. LSC, as we all know, stands for London's Subtlest Egos. In week nine, this happens. Right, so what, what are your costumes? Goldman Sachs. We're Goldman, Goldman Sachs. Men. This doesn't even need a joke. Oh my god. Week 10 and the school is invaded by evil alien robots intent on destroying the campus. Jay Stoll is labeled evil robot overlord by the Beaver. That's all for this edition of Beaver on the Loose. From everyone here at Loose TV, have a happy holidays, and remember, our evil robot overlords control you all.